You're tuned in to your favorite entertainment and lifestyle channel. And you're watching the Daily Top 10. At number 10, Shaka Zulu's sister demands for justice amidst mother charges. In the last edition of our Daily Top 10, we informed you that following the arrest and murder case of top music executive Shaka Zulu is currently charged with in connection to the fatal shooting that claimed a life in June is athlete Gabe Banks took to his Instagram handle to make a case of self-defense for the music executive. In a post accompanied by his picture and his lawyer's statement, his sister Aisha Obafemi has also come out to seek for justice. She wrote, not only has APD charged my brother, they have not charged the people who just jumped and stumped him, nor the people who shot him. The truth, they say, always finds its way. At number 9, Portable Previews New Song, As A Man, and Miss the ongoing rift between Keita Efe and Barry Tiga. Controversial singer and songwriter Habib Okikiola, popularly known as Portable, has teased a soon-to-be-released song called As A Man, where his samples organized by Asake. Taken to his Instagram handle to share the news with his fans, he wrote, Them go give you 5% to go wise. Hashtag As A Man drops soon. End of quote. As A Man Every other day is as a man To keep on the beach I'm a lot of me again, you Them got me back to the baby, yo As a man Every other day is as a man As a man Who go help you, no go stress you Them go buy you, them body Them go give you five percentage You go wise As a man Now them go rip you, them go call police you, make them arrest you, you go Celebrity don't reload it, it is, seek credibility at number 8, Ashake previews new single, Loaded. Niger rave of the moment, Ashake has once again gotten to the hearts of so many as he has teased a collaboration with Tiwa Savage. Announcing the collaboration on his Instagram page accompanied by a video of him and Olamide previewing the song, he wrote, African Bad Girl and Mr. Money. Although not yet released, Loaded is coming in barely two weeks since the release of his debut album, Mr. Money with the vibe. At number seven, I am not in anything negative. Tory Lanez. Shortly after American singer August Alsina publicly accused Tory Lanez of assault with pictures to show, Tory in an interview has denied the allegations. When asked about his involvement in the actor, says nothing happened. I didn't even know what this kid is talking about. Taking his Instagram stories to further deny the claims, he wrote, "I don't know what everybody's talking." about but i have been in the studio and not in anything negative i have been working on myself end of quote and number six demi crane calls david o out over pendant debts just when we thought we we're beginning to have some serenity in the land after going back and forth with so major call outs shades and name calling the recent polite call out of david o by his colleague demi crane might just be an indication that we will be in this space for well a while longer Take into his Twitter account where he disclosed that David O owes him some money for his contribution to one of his hit singles. Spirit, he wrote, My blood at David O run the check. I don't reach out to people over the years based on split fish outstanding. No response. We know guys they get this combo here. We're here to watch the drama unfold. Yeah, we're here for all of it. I'm a luck man. Obio, watch out for part two. Uh, why are you sure right now? We'll face you. Baby, I'm trying to reach you right now. We'll face you. Oh, 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 oh,
At number five, reality TV star Kate Wyatt debunks engagement tales. You recall that a few weeks ago, controversial media personality Daddy Freeze shared a loved up video of billionaire hair and reality TV star Kate Wyatt and an identified lady who he referred to as his fiance. Kid and his fiance showing us how to love. That was a quote by Daddy Freeze. But the bunk in the news of his engagement, Kid Wyatt tweeted, I'm not getting married and I do not have a fiance. It was fun. Seeing all the reactions though. Fun? Okay. <laughs> Number four, Ghanaian billionaire Shatter Bundle is married. Well, after only recently announcing the birth of his new baby girl, Ghanaian billionaire socialite Shatter Bundle, who is known for his interesting nature, has displayed on social media and recently tied the knot with the mother of his child. As expected, the news packed mixed reactions from lovers, fans, and all whatnot who took to the comment section to express their excitement. Congratulations to the new couple! Number 3. Travis Scott Previews His Utopia Album at His Vegas Show When it comes to music, American rapper, singer, songwriter and record producer Travis Scott has got to be one of those that make music outside the box. Known for his rich nature and collaborations, the American rapper recently took to the stage at his ongoing Road to Utopia residency show in Vegas to preview some songs from his forthcoming Utopia album. One of the major highlights will have to be the preview of his collaboration with Pharrell, Kid Card, Lil Uzi, Vought and Future. And number two, Chippa Regal's players arrive camp for Algeria friendly. Barely two weeks after the Nigeria Football Federation, NFF confirmed that Nigeria's Chippa Regal's will play Carthage Eagles of Algeria in a friendly match. Her head coach, Jose Sanchez Pacero, has named captain Hamid Musa and 24 others as players who take on the Algerian side ahead of the September 27 friendly match. Both teams will not be playing at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Sitting at number one on the daily top 10 is Queen Elizabeth II finally laid to rest. The late Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II, who passed on on the 8th of September 2022 at 96, has finally been buried at Westminster Abbey, the same location as the Queen's wedding to Prince Philip in 1947 and her coronation in 1953 after the death of her father. The late monarch's coffin, which was covered in symbolic items, was transported to the state gun carriage of the Royal Navy, which was also used for her father, Scuffin, and was drawn by 142 sailors instead of horses. Preparations for the Queen's burial, which has been in the works for 20 years by Earl Marshal Edward Fizzalan Howard, the Duke of Norfolk, had royal family members and the world at large all gathered to pay the last tribute to the lame monarch. All hail the Queen! That's all we can take today on the Daily Top 10. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms for more updates. That's a wrap. Thanks for staying tuned and bye for now.